Hi, I'm Allie Pinshorn. I always like to introduce myself in case you haven't seen who you're working with yet. This is the face to the name. I work here at Holiday World in Alvarado, Texas. Now behind me, I have our 2018 Keystone Avalanche 366 MB. That MB is going to be for a mid bunk or bonus room, depending on how you use it. So let me go over some of what we do here at Holiday World, and then I'm gonna go over this RV specifically, since it is a pre-owned, and show you everything you need to know about it, including features, any kind of cosmetic issues that you should know about, and basically what we're going to include and what we're going to cover. Now, here on the screen, you'll see pop up is going to be a 130 point checkpoint of everything that we cover and we ensure is working. What we do is when somebody purchases a unit, the first place it goes is into the shop and that shop is going to make sure that everything on that 130 point list is working and functioning correctly. We're also going to make sure that it has excellent batteries. If not, it's going to get brand new batteries and it's going to get its propane tank or tanks filled. Then it moves to our wash bay where it gets detailed, cleaned inside and out. Then it moves to our walk line. Now our walk line, depending on where you're located at and if you're going to travel down to pick up your unit or have it transported, our walk line it's going to be plugged up to actual service, um, 30 amp or 50 amp depending on the unit. And it's going to be demonstrated to you by a technician everything that's functioning and working. You're going to get a full walk around um, in addition to this video. And the ACs are going to be blown cold, the fridge is cold, um, and you're going to get that full experience to see that everything on your RV is working and answer any kind of questions that you might have about the operation. So let me flip this video now and let's get started on the tour of the 2018 Avalanche. You can see here, I've got it plugged into my cart. So we've got 12 volt power. It's gonna be enough to run the lights. I've opened up the awning so we can see that. Um, I could technically run the slides on it. Some simple things like that. Um, I'm gonna start here with the front cap. So you can see you've got the LED strip here. I'm gonna point out any kind of cosmetics that you should know about. That way there's no surprises um, whenever you do come purchase your new avalanche it's got some rock chips there something that would be expected to see on a front cap um, especially one that's already been out on the road a couple of times now under here this is going to be your front storage it's actually a very decent size storage to open this up here so you can see you've got a lot of space and room under here and there to our left is going to be your battery disconnect that is one of your two battery disconnects shut this here coming around the side and get out here so you can see the full side right there nothing cosmetic that I feel I need to point out up under here is going to be your automatic leveling system you can see I've actually going turned it on and so this way you can automatically level the unit or of course adjust everything manually oh wrong button there we go you can see your battery which really is running off my cart um, you can actually see the degrees side to side degrees front to rear we are sitting a little front heavy and then um, retract auto retract and a manual mode so you can adjust everything manually now this RV while I'm here the GVWR is gonna be 15,500 pounds and that is the total weight of this unit so its cargo carrying capacity is going to be uh, let's see here I want it in I'm going to pop up on the screen with this thing weighs dry because I don't see it right here, but I'm going to pop that up on the screen right now. All right, so moving on, this right here is going to be your propane tanks. Now, it currently has two 15-pound propane tanks on there. There is an advantage to that. Um, they are easy to just trade out. You can trade them out like Walmart, gas stations, places like that. If you choose to put some bigger ones in here, then you can see you have plenty of room for that. And a little sneak peek here's some cheat sheet instructions for that automatic leveling system in case you have any questions about that once you're actually on the road this will be the underside the other side of your front pass through storage we will get to that on the other side and your convenience center your convenience center does have a light there at the top you can see it's going to have all of your fresh water, city water, um, your black tank flush. You've got an outdoor shower there. You even have your hot and cold um, 
drip lines to clean out the lines. Close that up. Now the, your water heater here is going to be a 12 gallon. It's a 12 gallon water heater, electric or propane, electric or gas. It's also gonna have a 16.2 gallon recovery rate. Um, now let's point under here. You can see we've actually only got one port, which is nice for your dump, so you don't have to worry about hooking up any kind of joints or Ys for your dump station there. And that's gonna be your middle point of your automatic leveling because it is a six point auto leveling system. Backing up here, I wanna make sure you can see everything as I go around. You got your frameless windows. Tires on it are in excellent condition. They actually are, that one's brand new. I think they're all going to be brand new. Let's see, yes. So you've got brand new tires. You've got brand new tires on everything. All the way around. Come in here. And I do get a lot of questions on this. This is just gonna be your fresh tank overflow. So if you're filling up your fresh tank, and it starts to get too full, it's gonna overflow from here. Now, walking around, you've got your 50 amp plug right here, which is very nice to have it in the back. You don't have to worry when you go to a campground what side your power pole is on because you know that you're gonna be easily hooked up to it there. You've got your ladder there, and give me just a second, and we'll climb up on the roof and take a look. All right, we are up here on the roof. I'm gonna go ahead and just walk it. So you can see everything does look pretty good up here. Don't see anything that we should really be concerned about. Just let y'all see the entirety. There's the top of the awning. Maybe kind of hard to see, hopefully you can. There's no sun rod or anything on the awning. It is good and clear no rips tears and there's your king antenna system max air vent all right so now that we've had a look at the roof let's jump back down right back on the ground here where i'd much rather be coming around the side again nothing that i really need to point out or show You've got your door here. Everything's in good condition. Now, let's talk about your awning. Um, so the awning on this, you can see does have an LED strip all the way down it. At the corners here, our awning is starting to get a little bit detached at the corners. Go over here so you can see this one a little better. You can see your outdoor speakers right there. You can see it coming a little bit right there. Zoom up, you've got one right there. You can kind of see it. I'm almost starting to see a little bit of a little bit of a weather crack there. So again, like I told you in the beginning, we're going to be completely transparent through this entire experience. You'll get to know the ins and outs, the goods, the bads, everything you might need to know. Obviously, I couldn't put this awning out all the way because of my neighbor here, but I do want to ensure you that everything from here on is going to be in great condition. Um, that's not something we ever usually have trouble with. If it's going to get sun rotted, it's going to get cracked, there's going to be any problems, it's usually going to be up here on the main line because that's what's going to be exposed to the sun all the time, whereas this is only going to be exposed if you have the awning out. Now, here on the front, this is where your hydraulics and your batteries are going to be. This is going to be your other battery disconnect. So remember I said there was two, one in the front bay here and one right here. This is your pass-through storage. So you can see all the aluminum framing there. You've got your cable and 110s and plenty of storage to fit. You can see that's gonna be a coax cable there that's just sitting. Um, it even is vented under here, you can see that. So this is going to be insulated and climate controlled. I believe we've pretty much that's your slam latch door there, your magnets up top. I believe we pretty much covered everything on the outside. You've got your solar port there and your 110. Oh, your solar port, that's so you can hook up some solar panels if you'd like. It's prepped right there. All right, let's go up the solid steps and head inside. I do want to show 
There's not currently a screen door on this one. I know for majority of people that's not a very big deal, but again, I wanna point it out just to kind of show everything there. So let's go up here first. This is gonna be our control center. Open that up. You've got your ceiling fan that won't run off a 12 volt, but we'll be working your slides, your awning. Let's go ahead and put the awning in. I can see it right here through the window. which is very nice. Having the control center not near the door can make it hard on the awning sometimes, but you do have very clear vision here with this window. I've got all of our lights turned on, our fan controls there, and then there's gonna be your gas and electric for the uh, water heater and your water pump. All right, so let's start with a tour down here in the main living area. I'm gonna shut this door so we have a bit more even lighting, there we go. So you entry here into your kitchen and your living area. You can see the chandelier up top, our ceiling fan there. You've got an 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator with an ice maker in the bottom. Here in our island, you can see the stainless steel fixtures. You've got your solid surface sink covers there. Stainless steel bin. I'll go ahead and put those back. Get them later. I'm looking underneath here. You've got storage space. You've got trash can space for two trash cans. And then all your drawers there. So you've got some pretty decent length drawers, plenty for long utensils, wooden spoons, that sort of such. Now over here, next to our fridge, you've got your oven. You've got a drawer underneath the oven too, which is a pretty good size. You've got your three burner cooktop. It does have this plate which comes down. You do not want to cook on top of this. This is just to keep everything clean and covered. You've got your full size residential microwave here. Covered space up top and around the sides. Good counter space there. Let's so open that up. Good spot for pots and pans. And then you've got plugs right here and then plugs right here on this side of the island. I'll see if I find more along the way. You've got a fireplace here. It is an electric fireplace that will put out some good heat. Um, now if we're talking below freezing, you'll probably want to run your furnace, which is going to run propane. But if it's just a little chilly, this is a great way to just use electricity and save your gas. It does include the TV here. It was traded in with it, so it will be included with it. More cabinet space above there. Coming over here, you've got your couch. You've got some nice space above for any kind of decorations or whatnot. Just extra storage. You've got your couch here. Now this will fold out into a bed. So these undo right there. You just take these off. If I have any special requests to see this thing all the way out, I will happily do that. But I know most of y'all are pretty familiar with these types of beds. So you can see this is the tri-fold out and the legs come down right there. So this will fold out into what people like to say is very close to a queen. Um, I have to be careful saying that because it's not exactly a queen, but to give you a rough idea of the size of the bed that that will produce. You've got roller shades on all your windows, just like that. There we go. All right. Same thing with all of these. Now let's get to the first um, cosmetic thing that I definitely want to point out. So this set here does have some wear. You can see some flaking where the previous owners, that was probably where they rested their head quite a bit. So that is something that is going to be as is. Should be pretty easy. You can either get that recovered, deal with it, or <laughs> to put it nicely, I said that really, really um, aggressive there. Um, but you, some people may not bother that much, but you can also get them recovered or they make different seat covers for them. These are gonna be lighted, massage, and heat. Both of these recliners here. Lots of window space. And then we get to our dining table here, which this comes out. 
just like that. And you can see there's an extra leaf in there. So that folds out to a much bigger table to accommodate better those four chairs. All right, I'm just backing up here so you can have a better view of everything. Moving on this direction. This is gonna be some extra cabinetry, just extra storage play space. And then that's gonna be your fuse and breaker box. This will be one of the doors to our mid room here. Now this mid room has been customized. Most of the time in these mid rooms, we see a pull out couch here and we may or may not see a loft here that can go up and down. It's not the case in this one. This one originally just came with the bed. I can tell from all the windows and the location of the windows, there wouldn't have been room. Since the previous owners did need uh, some actual bunks, they created this and I think it actually turned out very, very nice. Um, very, very stable. So that will be included with the unit as is. You can always choose to take it out, put a couch in, put a desk in, or leave these in because maybe a bunk better fits your needs. Looking around, you've got a nice desk space here, place to put a chair under so you can actually utilize the desk. That's a huge problem in these designs is that they make a nice countertop area that has solid cabinets underneath and no place to slide your chair under. And then, of course, that's our other door. I'll show you where that's located when you come around. Our front door. You've got a coat hanger here. Your ladder, so you can access the loft up here. And then this is your other door to that mid bunk room. Moving up the stairs now, I do want to show you there was a little kick there that did a little bit of damage to that wood. If you really wanted to, you could just pull off those side panels and replace that. But it's honestly being there on the bottom step, not something that seems to be terribly in the way or terribly noticeable. It's taken me several times to notice that. There is a shade here. I don't want anybody worried that there's not. Over to our left is the bathroom. This is going to be a two door. So you've got a door here and then a door to the bedroom as well. You've got a porcelain foot flush toilet, pretty large sink with a seating area and a large um, place for your head. I'm drawing a blank and it's been a long day. You've got your nice fixture there as well. Medicine cabinet. Let's open that up. Pretty decent sized sink here. It's not one of those itty bitty ones. And then underneath, and then linen closets, plenty of space to fold up towels, put any kind of toiletries, extras that you need. All right, moving around, so you can see that. I'm going to go ahead and go through these doors. So we were keep that closed, walk into the bedroom area here. You've got a king size bed. It will include this mattress here. Um, very large, definitely a large king. Um, and then you've got shelving, I almost called them steps. Shelving, shelving there. You've got your side windows there for a cross breeze. They do each have the roller shades. Actually, I'm sorry, they are not roller, I misspoke. They are the accordion, I'll pull those down. Both of them are clean. And then you've got the headboard there, a nice little shelf there, there you can see it and more shelving space here. Now, here's gonna be your big full length wardrobe. We open that up. I was trying to see kind of what we got here. You've got your shelf, a plug there in the back, plenty of room for clothes storage, all that good stuff. And then in here is gonna be your washer dryer setup. Now this has already had a washer dryer in it, which is a good thing um, because you can see it's clean. It's never had any problems with it, no soft spots or anything like that. But you've already got that dryer vent there. It's just taped up to help keep it not from leaking air, <laughs> but uh, it's all ready to go for your washer dryer setup. Dresser, window, and that's where your TV would go. All right, I believe we've pretty much covered everything inside and out. Oh, now one thing under the bed here. 
a little extra room under here. Nothing terribly fancy. I am really surprised right now that the struts are holding up this bed. I mean, I hope this bed shows up in the video how big it is because this is a really nice mattress. It is definitely not your standard, standard mattress. All right, there we go. All right, I believe now that we've pretty much covered everything. Um, I know you showed you in the picture at the very beginning, but just to reconfirm, everything such as your slides, your water pumps, um, your furnace, ACs, there's two ACs, everything that is going to be maintenance uh, necessary, such as those, such as your leveling, it's all going to be checked out by our technician and it's gonna be confirmed that it is working and we will show that and display it to you. Going on a quick tour real quick, I wanted to show you a little bit of our facility here. Here's gonna be part of our 20 service bays inside and out. Let's come drive over here. You can see that big Verona we're working on. This is our wash bay where everything gets cleaned up before it delivers out. Got four bays there. See which way he's going so that I'm not in the way. It's our Porter Connor. Sneak around him here. This is a lot of our service units that you see right here. Now coming down here to this back fence line is going to be what I referred to earlier as our walk line. These are all units that are getting ready to be delivered out. They are all plugged up, ready to go, unless they've already been delivered and they're waiting on their pickup man. Um, so all these are going, this is where you would see your units. You see that avalanche. It's gonna be plugged up. ACs are gonna be running. Fridge is gonna be cold, like I mentioned before. And we'll get to see the slides work. We'll get to see everything in operation, verifying the unit in the condition that we say it is. All right, if y'all have any other questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to contact me at my cell. It's 830-385-2474.